Hey, it's Clay. Welcome to another video. Today, I want to have some discussion about the Fender Harmonic Tremolo that's found in some of the brown face amps. It's a really cool type of tremolo effect, and I think it'll be really interesting. I'm not going to do a super like component compo by component deep dive, but I want to do kind of a bird's eye view, and I also wanted to kind of show you in a what I think is kind of an interesting recreation or mimicking of the overall effect. Um, that I think you guys would find interesting. So if you're curious about harmonic tremolo, go ahead and stay tuned. All right, guys, this in front of you is the schematic for the Fender Bandmaster model 6G7. This is a brown-faced model. Now, the Fender brown face amps were the only ones to use the harmonic tremolo, and it was really in only some of the amp models. And, and actually, there was differentiation even from one to the next. But this 6G7 is just one example that I wanted to use there are subtle differences amongst the other um, types of harmonic tremolos. I think there's another one that uses an extra 12x7 gain stage, but this is the one that I think I wanted to use for this purpose. So the main thing I wanted to point out to you is the signal comes in here at the input through a gain stage, through a tone stack, through another gain stage, and then it goes along this path right here. And again, on this path here is where the interesting magic happens. The circ the dry signal comes in at this point, and it is essentially all of this circuitry in here helps to get the signal into the grid of the tubes. Now you've got a grid right here, you've got a grid right here. You've also got this tube here is clearly a tremolo oscillator, and then this tube is kind of a makeup gain stage. What is basically going on in this part of the circuitry with all these resistors and capacitors is you have... Um, so if you think about the, imagine if we have an EQ of, an, of a signal. you got your bass frequencies down here, treble frequencies up here, mid-range in the middle. You have a high-pass filter like this that's, cut, that's really isolating just the bass frequencies into one signal. And then you have a low-pass filter like that that's isolating the high frequencies into another signal. So you're taking the dry signal and you're splitting it into two. One that's just lows and one that's just highs. Then this tremolo oscillator here uh, is applied to that signal, but it's applied in different ways. So what's happening is, again, uh, let's say we've got our low signal here and our high signal here. So if our low signal is a sine wave that looks like this and our high signal is a sine wave that looks like this, what the, it's doing is it's playing around with the, with the phasing of the tremolo. So for example, um, uh, a tremolo effect is basically taking a volume, an amplitude, and it's going, um, it's making it bigger and smaller, bigger and smaller. Kind of like a sine wave, but it is, it's, it's doing that in terms of amplitude. So it's taking these peaks, when it gets quieter, they, you know, it's more like this. When it gets louder, it's more like this. And the interesting thing is that with the low signal, when its volume goes up, the high signal goes down. So they're in complete opposite with one another. So when the volume of the low signal goes up, the volume of the high signal goes down. And then it continuously, at whatever speed you set the, this control, the tremolo control at, that's how quickly it is going back and forth between high and low. And so that's how you create this kind of interesting phasing or vibing type effect. Even though there is no pitch modulation, it's all volume modulation, but it's because you split the signal into high and low and you um, allow them to modulate at different rates that creates that cool effect. So what I wanted to do now is actually show you in a digital audio workstation, I have a guitar signal that I played and on this track, I use this EQ shape. So I set a low pass filter at about 646 hertz. And then I applied a tremolo effect. This tremolo effect has 2.0 hertz rate, 65% depth. And you can see that the waveform is going up like this, up first, down second. Then I copied that exact signal onto a second effect. So we'll put the low one over here, put the highs over here. So with this one, I have done a similar, uh, an opposite effect of the EQ, where I've got a high pass at 400 hertz. So there is a little bit of crossover in the mid-range. Not too worried about that. 
But again, two hertz, 65% depth. But if you look with the low tremolo, it's going up first and then down. The high tremolo here, the highest tremolo is going down and then up. And so it creates an effect that kind of sounds like this. <laughs> I want you to watch here between the the spikes of these two signals is the low goes up the high goes down they're completely opposite to one another so when the low is pumping up the high is pumping down So I hope that that helped you understand harmonic tremolo. It is a really neat effect. Whether you have it in an amp or in a pedal, it is really fun to play around with, and I'd highly encourage you guys to take a look at it. Thanks for watching. See you again soon. Thanks. Bye.